Hey everyone, Dr. Nathan Bryan here with the top three risk factors for development of chronic disease. Obviously, there are a host of things that cause chronic disease, but what I've found is that lack of sleep, stress, inflammation are the top three drivers of chronic disease, and they're actually intertwined because if we're stressed, we don't sleep. If we don't sleep, we become inflamed. If we're inflamed, we don't sleep and we become more stressed. But I think it all starts with adequate sleep. I know for me personally, if I don't get six to seven hours of sleep a night, my performance is completely compromised. So I need my body and everybody's personalized and individualized, everybody's different. Some people can survive on three to four hours of sleep. Some people need eight to 10 hours of sleep. For me, I fall somewhere in the middle, six to eight hours of sleep. But sleep is extremely important. Your body cannot and will not heal or perform without adequate sleep. It's during the sleep particularly the deep sleep, that our body repairs and replaces cells. We have to fully oxygenate when sleep. If you have obstructive sleep apnea, obviously you're not getting deep sleep and your body's not repairing and replacing dysfunctional cells. And then stress. We live in a very stressful world and we have to learn how to manage stress. We can't eliminate stress. I mean, stress is just part of daily life. It's, you know, like the saying, it's not what happens to you that matters. It's how you respond to what happens to you that matters. And I made a conscious decision years ago that I don't stress and I don't worry about things that I cannot control. And when you start to think about this, you realize we have so little control over most everything that most people shouldn't stress because you can't control it. And stressing over it is not gonna change the outcome. And then the other thing is inflammation. We all know that the chronic disease is driven by inflammation. And it's things that we talked about for years now. High sugar diet is inflammatory, high insulin is inflammatory. The toxins we're exposed to in our food supply, in our water supply, in our environment are inflammatory by nature. So if we can just modify and make simple changes to go to bed early and get adequate sleep, six to eight hours of sleep, completely change the environment of your bedroom. And if we can learn how to manage stress, and that means, you know, meaningful prayer, meditation, you know, taking some time to just reflect on what's happening. How do we deal with it? How do we address it? And then drive down inflammation eliminate things that are inflammatory, change your diet, get moderate physical exercise, throw in some antioxidant supplements or anti-inflammatory antioxidant foods. So if we can just make those changes, get adequate sleep, manage our stress, try to reduce the stress, and then drive down inflammation, I think we can start to affect the drivers of chronic disease. Thanks very much for listening. If you like this, please subscribe to the link below.